What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We're in the Vintage Cube. We're going to take this uncommon Soul Ring, clearly an uncommon card. Definitely not mythic or rare. It's definitely an uncommon. So we're going to take it and put it in our stack. There's so many cards in here that I would love to come back. Demonic Tutor, Minsk and Boo, Brazen Borrower, Fiery Confluence. They're all very, very good. But Soul Ring is head and no power. I took a Soul Ring, which is arguably better than than all of the power. Hey, look, we got some power. There you go. There's your little little honey busket. Do I just want to take through the breach and be through the breaching? Is that a thing we want to try with like second pick and now we can really work around it? Two power. <laughs> power in all the packs. I gotta tell you, since lowering the intensity of these key lights, um, my eyes have been significantly less exhausted after a stream, so that's been very, very helpful. I kind of want to throw the breach. I want to do things like this in the cube. But I also just want to take a Traxa. But the, the best way to cast an Atraxa is with through the breach. So we're through the breaching, I guess. And Blightsteel is not what you want to see. Unfortunately, it's not great. This guy's really weird. 4-4, four, four, trample haste for four, but then he flips into an 8-8, eight, eight, but they only gives the other creatures a 1-1. One, one. I don't know. I don't know. I do like a delighted halfling here. What if we take Oath of Druids and, like, only take big fat idiots as creatures? Yes, I would assume he has Trample and Haste on their side as an 8-8, but... I actually don't know what to take here. There's Shallow Grave and Death. I have i don't think I've ever really Oathed. I've never really committed to an Oath before. All right, we're going to commit to a second, a third pick Oath here. And now we're going to take Archon of Cruelty because that's what heroes do. Okay. We could also reanimate some of these guys. How about an Aleshnorn? That's Oathable, right? Uh, Colossus sucks with Through the Breach. Uh, if they have any blocker, you just deal them nine poison and then never again. Never happens again. And then they never have to, it's never an issue because you have no more infect creatures. So it's just not a good uh, sneak attack target or through the breach target, whatever you want to call it. <sighs> Might just be blood crypt here. Yeah, I mean, actually it might be Vista because I'm not, I think we're going to be green red and have these as our idiots. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's Talisman. Let's take the Talisman. Uh, you don't want to take Caryatid when you have Oath of Druids because then you hit Caryatid with Oath of Druids. It's not ideal. Uh, Stomping Ground is one of our two colors here. I'm going to take the Stomping Ground over the Verdant Catacombs because we may never see... Um, I don't actually mind Elder Gargaroth. I'm thinking like if we have Oath and then we just actually only have good creatures that are going to be equal to or better than their creatures, it should be fine. Uh, the worst part is hitting like a Delighted Halfling off of an Oath or something. And nothing else in here seems that great, so. Oh, yes. That's exactly what we want. That's the good Ulamog with Annihilate. Oh, how about a Grave Titan? Oh, Fiery Confluence is actually just good, too, especially if we're playing a more control deck. Let's take the Fiery Confluence. We're playing red-green Oath Control. That's our that's our strategy here. That is what Father likes. I mean, Archon and, and Ulamog, not the worst start here. I honestly don't even hate the run as just, like, a guy. We'll put him in the sideboard for now, but... Actually, is Hellkite better? Maybe. No, I like the run. He's just a fancy boy. Also, we might not even have to play Oath. We could just play red, green, good stuff and through the breach these guys. 
Oh, Grave Titan and Oath, actually, that's a good point because you're making the, yeah, solid. Let's take Shallow Grave here because also reanimates and we can discard this guy to... Actually, with Oath, this Blightsteel might be decent. It's also good if we pick up a channel too. So I'm going to try to find the, the overlap between channel through the Breach and, and Oath Thank of Druids. You. Yogmoth did nothing wrong. Oh, God. Hashtag Yogmoth was right. This is interesting because it's not a creature. So you can play it and it becomes a creature. I'm just going to take Memory Jar. Oh, I guess they're going to take it for me. Oh, let's take Basalt Monolith. That was a late Basalt Monolith. Yeah, let's take Zeran Orb. Sure. Snuff out? Sure. I'm, I could take a snuff out. Also, Satan's Curved Wang. Thank you for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate you. Okay. What's in here? What do we got? What do we got? We do have a Zerda, which is interesting because it's infinite with Basalt Monolith. And that just lets us cast our things. So abilities you activate that aren't mana abilities cost two less. So to untap this, it would cost one. So you could tap it, make three, untap it, tap it, untap it, tap it, untap it. Do you get what I'm saying? Do you understand? Are you following me here? The problem is I don't want to oath in Deserta, but maybe that's just an alternate, an alternate thing. Something about tapping. Yeah, it's, it was complicated. Don't worry about it. I'll take the Zerta because I do think that combo is has potential. Um, triplicate Titan. When it dies, create three three threes. Not bad with Through the Breach. Probably better than Thran Dynamo, right? Like, Thran Dynamo is good, but I don't think we're ramping into these creatures. Let's not be confused. Yeah, let's take Triplicate Titan because it's also good with... Well, I guess if you Oath into it, then they kill it. Then you got three guys. Then they get to Oath, and then it's just worse. I think Oath is just a trap, man. Do I have Oath in my cube? God, I really... I'm, I like it less. <laughs> Every time I try to build around Oath, it's just so hard to do. It's too late. I took Triplicate Titan. Because I think it's still great with, like, Through the Breach. And, um... Ideally, we get a Sneak Attack crossed i like a raging ravine also if we just take out oath when we get to play mana creatures which is probably better i don't care about lotus petal i think i just want the fixing of, of raging ravine here plus it's a cool creature like i could just easily put the run in the deck if we're not playing oath of druids oh we're definitely we're definitely taking a tali here 100%. Super Fritz, do you remember when we cubed together and you and you played my my own Atali against me with a, I think it was bribery? Yeah, let's take the, the, the Atali. Like the, the, like the stipulation for Oath is just hard because you don't get to play other creatures and Oath is a green card. And here's the sneak attack. So our deck is actually phenomenal right now. So now we have Sneak and Through the Breach, and we have a decent number of creatures for it already. Um, even hitting this, because when it enters the battlefield, you exile cards from the top until they exile a non-land card. And then you just get two free cards. And then if it dies, it's fine. Because we have Shallow Grave, right? Where did our Shallow Grave go? Do we not take the Shallow Grave? Do we take something over Shallow Grave? Am I crazy? Am I losing my mind? I thought we took Shallow Grave. I guess we did not, in fact. Take Shallow Grave. But also having this like 9, 10, 12 drop here with this combo is pretty good. I think Bone Crusher Giant's probably just, just good. We can just cast him as a man, you know? I can't do that in a cube with no bribery. I agree with you. No, don't like that. We're going to take Bone Crusher Giant. It's just a solid man. I, man. 
Oh, Ballista is a combo for the infinite combo. And it's just good. Like, I'm just fine with having a Ballista. And I bet Bone Crusher eh, might not come back. We have Force of Vigor, Endurance, Garrick, and Steel Seraph in this pack, all of which I think are fine. I don't think I want another 8 drop because it's kind of expensive. We're going to probably cut Oath of Druids when we have Ballista and Zerda and a bunch of smaller guys. I think it's Garrick here. Yeah, let's go with a Gary. Gary! Ha ha, Gary! Um, <laughs> a little Fallout meme for you guys. Um, I agree with, I, I agree. Every time I try to draft Oath, it never comes together. I think a green just has to be your splash color and then you just play Oath on like turn six or something. I don't think it's actually, I don't think you play a green deck with Oath because all you, because you're like literally locked out of all the best green components, which are like mana dorks. I'm gonna take invasion here with infinite mana. That's another great card. Oh, it's your boy. We can't play any of these cards, unfortunately. Um, I don't think it's sale. It might just be sword. Yeah, sword's like the only thing we can play here. That's fine. Um, Magna's not terrible. Mag Mag Magda? What did I say? Magma? Magna? Who knows what I said? Mind Slaver. Or Lotus Petal. That's interesting. Fascinating. I think it might be Mind Slaver with infinite mana. I do like Terra Sunder, but we have no black source right now. I think I'm just going to take it anyway. It's still just a way to get rid of... Oh, Phyrexian Metamorph. That's that's main deckable. All right. This looks pretty good so far. And then we got... Jesus. God, it just keeps going. Okay. Mana Crypt. That's a... That's a beater. What's the other card that combos with Zerta? It's... Don't tell me. Let me think of it. Uh, uh... Okay, you can tell me. I can't think of it. <laughs> now, is it Grimmauld? Yeah, it's Grimmauld. Okay. For some reason, I was like, wait, it can't be Grimmauld. Grim, 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 Grim costs four to untap, so that's, you're never going to net anything. But then I guess if it costs two to untap with Zerta, then you're netting one each time. Yeah, it's Mana Crypt. And it's your daddy. Who is your Eldrazi daddy? That's exactly what we wanted with Through the Breach and Sneak Attack. Wow. Fantastic. Where's the channel? Give me a give me a 12th pick channel like you always do. See, now we can play Wall of Roots here because we don't have to worry about Oath. We could also take Misty, but we're a two-color deck, so I'm not really super concerned with Misty. I'd rather have the ramp than the... I'm getting so excited for a, a channel that presents itself. See, but now we get Draga Tree Speaker too, which makes me want to play Oath even less. Come on, channel. Come on. You were like 14th pick last. I guess it was like 12th pick. No, I think we passed it and then it tabled. I think it was really late last draft. Um, so no good lands for us. Augur of Autumn is pretty decent. I think we'll take Augur. City of Traders, huh? I don't like City of Traders and Cube. Like, I don't like having to play a land that gets destroyed when you play another land. Like, that's just silly. However, Inferno Titan and Dragonlord of Tarka are both pretty cool. 
I think I'm taking this guy just because he costs six instead of seven. Oh boy. She costs five. I think I'm gonna cut memory jar. Okay, so it looks like no channel for us. No channel for Lil Frankie. Oh, Ren at 6 is pretty good, though. Is it? We don't have any lands that we can sack, I guess. Uh, maybe we get one. You know? <laughs> we'll put him in the sideboard for now. Oh, the Ugin came back, though. Good gracious. No channel is really disappointing. Is Ugin... A bridge too far when we can take like Mizia Mortars or another Talisman. Talisman lets us cast Zerda still off of it. I feel like it's, oh my god, I feel like it's Talisman here. Eh, I'll take a Kogla. Or is it actually Bitter Reunion might give us some. Some decent digging. Yeah, let's take Bitter Reunion. We don't need another big fat idiot. Uh, we don't have enough lands for Field of the Dead to be good. I'll just take Deceiver Exarch so no one else can have it. Yeah, I'll take a Huntmaster. Sure. Uh, Excellent subject of cards. You can play them. Add a red for each card in target opponent's hand. I mean, we have 20, 28 cards here, so we're going to have to cut down. So I wasn't super concerned with making sure I can fit Ren and Six in the deck. So, you know, not looking at Ren as a playable is actually a little easier for us right now. There's also Oath decks. There's also, like, decks that just literally don't play a creature for, you know, five turns because they're not trying to Oath. Which does make, or they're not trying to, <laughs> they're not trying to do that. So like that makes your oath plane even worse. Like you're just like, I'll play oath, and then they're like, okay, I'll just, I don't need creatures here. I'll just play like a Teferi, and you're like, all right, well I can't really deal with that, I guess. It's good times. Yeah, Slaver was, um, in case we got, well, I mean, Slaver was for infinite mana too. Like we have Zerta and Basalt Monolith, which is infinite mana. That's why I had Slaver in here, but I do agree. This search is for non-humans, so pretty much everything. This guy's like a three. God, we really have to shrink this down in order to see everything, huh? So this is 27 cards. Oh my god. There's so many different casting costs. I want to put this up here for now. Oh dear. Wow. Okay, but we do have Soul Ring and Mana Crypt. It's pretty good. Um, Yeah, I mean, we have Archon, Triplicate Titan, Ulamog, and Emrakul. And Atali. For sneak and through the breach. I think we can probably do without Blight Steel. I think it's one of the weaker. And I did, again, this was a card I picked up in case channel because it's fine with channel in turn two. Uh, we can't cast Archon, no, but we're definitely not cutting it because sneak attack and through the breach. Plus, you have bitter, bitter Reunion to discard it. Or we can search it up with Invasion of Ikoria if we get infinite mana. So we have several. We have like three different ways to get it into play.
We could also just play Graven Cairns as a land, and then we can even get it with... Uh... We have a way to get a land, right? Maybe not. It still seems reasonably playable, though. We still do need two more cuts, though. Oh, interesting. I don't think we cut Titan or Gargaroth because I think they're the most reasonable creatures to just cast. Um, I mean, I was probably considering cutting Magda because I think it's the most fragile of the mana creatures. Mana, the, the two mana cards. But it also doesn't always guarantee you the mana either. Yeah, I mean, this is another card that's great with infinite mana because you can just make 17 and then go get an Emrakul. I'm gonna love you to the heavens, not to the rain. This is probably like closer to a six. One cut, or we just play 41. Which I'm kind of okay with, because we have Talisman, Talisman, Wall of Roots, and Jiraga. Sort by color. <laughs> this is the most colorless cards I've ever had. You're going to go over there, and they're going to watch. They're going to add one, one Swamp, even though that would not be able to cast Archon. And they're going to add one Plains and one Island. One, one, one. Fantastic. Okay. So... These are pretty even. So one, two, three. This is 12. I think I'm adding one more green because we do want to get Tree Speaker and Wall of Roots down early. And the Talisman of uh, Unity also lets us cast Zerda, so it's kind of like a red in that situation. All right, 16 lands, Mana Crypt, Soul Ring, Talisman, Talisman, Draw a Tree Speaker. All right. It is time. Also, if you want to guys support the channel, definitely consider subscribing or following. They're great ways to help out. Would love to see some more, some more subs in the channel if you guys are going to be watching regularly. And I'm here every Monday through Friday at 1 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time. So definitely consider supporting. Check out HelloFresh. You get 50% off your first box along with free shipping. And then you can cancel after that if you want to. But they're a great meal delivery service. We've loved them every time we've got them. And uh, everyone in the chat will swear by them. So. Why no Mana Crypt? <laughs> oh, you sweet summer child. No, well, Daryl. It's, it's very unlikely that we wouldn't play Mana Crypt in a deck that has cards in it. Our mana's meh? Really? I mean, we're just a, we're two colors. We got two colors. We got two, two, two of these. We got a talisman of on color talisman. I don't know. You're being a little baby right now. Huh. Snap keep. <laughs> no red sources. A nine drop and a 15 drop. Deal. This is, I mean, we can go get a turn two, uh, Two mana creature, like a wall of root, wall of roots. I actually should have um should have screenshotted our our little deck. This searches graveyards too, right? Search your library and our graveyard. That's sick. So if we end up discarding Archon, like we can just get it out of the graveyard. Okay, I see. It's the mirror match. Fascinating. Okay, okay. What can we get with this that's worth it? That's not... Next turn for three is just better, right? Like, we just get, like, a Zerda. I don't think two is going to do anything for us. Two gets us, like, Wall of Roots, and that's pretty much it. That's pretty good. That's frustratingly good. Jeez. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, boy. I guess we're going to mill and... The first, like, two are pretty easy to just mill. 
Um, have, no. Sure. Interesting. Yeah, search the library. Get it. Get it. Oh, we can get a walking ballista. That's pretty sick. Come on, let's top deck. Top deck basalt monolith. Please, one time. That would be the sickest. The absolute. Okay, they have zero cards in hand. So that's pretty good. Uh, no. Oof! <sighs> Fiery Confluence is very good if we had red mana. We can just literally deal one and then kill their two artifacts if we had if we had red mana. Maybe Super Fritz was right. Well, we just took six. But otherwise, they just go three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and play it. But now they can actually sacrifice Monolith and play it. So I guess we're just, we're just going to go to the next game because... <sighs> Do we lose here? We can't do anything. We have like one more draw, I think. So we'll just do the one more draw. They're obviously going to put this guy into play, but it doesn't do anything. And if we get like, if we do draw a Basalt Monolith, we have a 1 in 30 chance. <laughs> so, you know, like a 3.3% chance maybe. Is that how, is that how that works? Solid. Why did wait? Did they? What's just? Oh, they 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 sacrificed the Mox for the triplicate. Sure. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna let you just draw a card. Yep, knock yourself out. <laughs> My God, dude! Fucking red mana. Seriously. Okay, I feel like our deck would have done very well if it had red mana. Still none. All right. How many sources of red do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten sources of red. Uh, it seems like we should have drawn at least one. I don't know. God. Well, our hand was like perfect. All right. Don't be indicative of the entire deck. This seems like a mulligan. It just doesn't do anything. And that seems like a winner chicken dinner. Okay. Well, we're going to get rid of Archon here. We're going to cast this and risk it because we get to play this guy off of it, so... So next turn, it just gives us more mana. Let me have one. One. Two, three, four, five, six. So we get to play a six drop next turn if we get one. And we lost the flip. And we got a talisman instead, which is also a card that exists. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we're probably going to play this off of you. And nope, didn't want to do a green there, but all right. So we're just level it, level you up. And then now we just don't get to level it up again because I'm not going to take a point to do that. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana. That's pretty good. If we draw something, like if we draw an art, a triumvirate. Triplicate guy, what is that thing called? Uh, let's see, the triplicate titan. That was close. Nice. The mirror match. Uh, tails. Very good. Very good. 
Uh huh. So we're just gonna play Wall of Roots. All right. What if we draw a thing that is not a mana source? Is that a thing that would that would happen? Is that a thing that we can make happen? Okay, well they're just pumping that. I guess that's free, so that doesn't really indicate that they have anything to one, two, three. Okay, that's not the worst. Eh, it's actually fine. Okay, so you get a land. Sweet. They do have a blight steel. We just saw it. How much mana do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have eleven mana. We can cast literally anything except for Emrakul and Archon. So we're gonna draw probably. Well, I guess we didn't shuffle. So Archon's probably still on the bottom. Tails lost again. Now we can cast Emrakul almost. Just keep leveling, bro. I'm a level six now. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think I'm actually removing this. I don't think I like Ren and Realmbreaker as much as I thought I did at first. I think being able to tap all your lands for any color is pretty solid, but having a Planeswalker that literally can't protect itself because it doesn't untap the land that it transforms. So like if you play on turn three, like it's, it's just open. It's just weak. I, I agree. That's yeah, that's what I mean. Like, I don't know. Maybe it's too good if it untaps the land because it is a three mana planeswalker that comes into play with uh, four loyalty. It's not nothing. But I don't know. Yeah, often and on two. It's true. It is a, yeah, it can, you can play it on two pretty easily in green decks. Oh, good. <laughs> so as long as our opponent draws the same thing we're trying to do every game, then we're good to go. Let's, let's, uh, okay. We're 50, 50 here. Another mountain. Fucking fantastic. Oh, What's the moon? God would never let me be successful. He'll kill me first. I feel like we're literally just trying to do what they're doing and we have all the mana to do it, but they're just drawing their cards and we're not, so. I guess we'll go to five. You get a land. Great. <sighs> Emrakul would be nice. We can literally hard cast it. So that's cool. Wonderful. So like we go Emrakul and they, they just sack this guy and sack this guy and they get five three threes. It's pretty good. What does that do for us? That's interesting. Thank you. Tiraviz. T. Ravis, thank you for the resub, buddy. I really appreciate it. I, I had a hard time reading that at first, and then I felt bad. All right. Well. One. Oh, did we did we take a screenshot of our deck? No, we wanted to, didn't we? 
Go. Stop. Go. Battle does... No, it's just non-human creatures. It doesn't care about green. Uh, Back to the home page. I mean, it's really hard to navigate. I'll be honest with you. Uh, return to game. Minimize this. Change deck. Let's see what we got here. All right. We can hit an Atali, which is pretty good. We can hit Archon. Like, they sack a creature, they discard a card, they lose three, we draw and gain three. We can hit our own Titan, which isn't exciting. We can hit Ulamog, we're not casting it. We cannot hit Emrakul. I think a Tali might actually be the best option. Ugh, it's not great. So one. Triumvirate, we can block here and get our own guys. That's 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12, doing it for 10 lets us get everything but Emrakul and Ulamog, which I think is fine. Hitting Emrakul would be friggin' insane. Uh, let's go 1, 2, 3, 4... I don't want to take a point there. We'll just use this for our second green. So four, five, six, seven, eight. It's just 10. Might as well do 11. Sure. What the hell? Search library. All right. These are all our options. We could get Zerta and go infinite. <laughs> Infinite to what? Nobody knows. Um, Metamorph also copies one of their things. I think Atali. It has to be Atali. It's got to be better than drawing a random card and gaining three. All right. We hit a Zerta. And we get there. Sylvan carry added is not the worst. I mean, we just need to survive a block, which we can't because they have a flyer, I guess. So that was a good reason to. Um, yep. All right. Well, what would we have drawn? That was the. I think this. I think the Zerta was the top card. So that's actually what we would have hit. No other cards were revealed. So. All right. That was good times. Maybe if you're still there, can you check your Facebook messages? Thanks, Boo. Uh, no, it's not an eye rag. It's just a back scratcher. Like, it's this really long back scratcher, and you can just scratch your little back. But it's fun to play with. It's weird because I honestly feel like our deck is, was probably better than theirs. Like, we just had both Sneak Attack and Show and Tell, two Eldrazi, Archon, like just tons of cards that make it really efficient, but then we just never hit those cards in any sort of reasonable order. I mean, some days you, you double 3 oh like yesterday, and some days you 1-2 into 0-1 starting, so, you know, it's, it's Magic the Gathering for you. So we can go Garrick or Zerda. I think Zerda's probably worse if we're not just comboing. Hmm. Oh, cool. 
Uh, I'm just gonna make a beast here. I don't think the blue black deck is gonna have a ton of ways to interact with Garrick on their turn, and that isn't just destroying him straight up, so. Sometimes you 3 0, sometimes the 3 0s you. <laughs> exactly. Nailed it. Oh, they're going to B storm. Damn, it's still Friday over there? Thymus, where are you? Portugal. So it's like, what is it? Did it just, is it like midnight? Is it like 1255? Ponder, brainstorm into ponder and they chose to shuffle. So now they don't, they don't, they're not like brainstorm locked anymore. So that's good for them, you know? Well, that's pretty good. Are we ever going to cast this? If we hit a Graven Cairns, we can we can cast it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana right now. So we could do this for six. It's probably just gonna be better next turn, right? We have Mana Leak. Mana Leak payment up as well. And one Graven Cairns and this guy is this guy's coming down in our in our red green deck. What if we draw a bitter? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We can draw Bitter Revival, Bitter Reunion. Discard it. No, we don't want to discard it. We want to cast it. Never mind. Nothing, nothing I'm saying is working. I can't afford to replace keyboards and mice anymore. BSP, please. Seek anger management help. <laughs> Oh man, I used to get incredibly angry at controllers uh, when I was younger. It was worse when controllers had cords, I think, because then you could just swing them around and just slam them on stuff. Um, I haven't done that in numerous years. I should have tapped that in response, but I didn't think they would steal it, and they didn't have any responses to things. So I guess they just get a free two mana this turn. That's unfortunate. That's a thing that we like. That's what father likes. Two, three, four, five, six. Wow, fantastic. Congratulations on your on your counter spell. Great counter spell. Hope it wins. I mean, I guess they didn't need it, so... If they don't use the man, I feel better about that that misplay, but nonetheless, taking our soul ring feels bad. Alright, now I have sixed again, because there's nothing I can do. Failed anchor management four times, got a certificate of discernible improvement, also failed stress management five times, and smoking cessation seven times. But hey, life hates a quitter, right? Oh dear. That's not good at all. That seems like a lot of times. I would be... Uh, I'm... That's... That sure is something. Thank you. 
Okay, so I just saw this on the internet, and I don't know how to feel about it, to be honest with you. Scientists discover alien-like creature with 20 arms, 3,840 feet below the surface of Antarctica. Jesus. That's terrifying. Dude, that's so wild to me that, like, we're still discovering things on Earth and in the oceans that we just didn't know were there. Oh. Yeah, okay. You think they're going to get... What did they get? What did they get with Imperial Seal that they're going to also use with Lion's Eye Diamond? The only thing I think is, like, Yawgmoth's will? Yawgmoth's will? Or they just tap seven now and do something. I think I forgot to actually put through the breach and sneak attack in the deck. So they Imperial sealed and then they time spiraled. What did that, that doesn't, that doesn't work. That doesn't do anything. Look, we did get through the breach. There it is. Hey, good times. Also, if we talk if we top if we survive this turn and then also top deck a basalt monolith, we just win the game. Yeah, the deeper you go in the ocean, the weirder the shit gets with like no eyes and then bioluminescence and like incredible fangs. It's super creepy. We can just cast triplet, but it doesn't have haste. So we get through the breach it rather. That's what we can do. I mean, I'd rather just win the game next turn and then give them another turn, but I guess we're just going to wait while storm goes off because that's what, that's what uh, promotes p fun play patterns. Whereas bribery is just miserable. I don't know if they briberied me and got my Emrakul four turns ago and then we just got to play the next game. That seems more fun than me sitting here for seven minutes, but what do I know? I don't know how fun play works. So hold on. Let's see when they started their turn. Uh, turn six, 558. It's only four minutes so far. I did not mention tooth and, tooth, tooth and nail, <laughs> tooth and nail today. like i get that like grinders and spikes love playing they love they just fucking love storm it's just so fun for them but like honestly like this is just not fun like i'm just watching you play hoping you whiff maybe you will maybe you won't who knows but now i just have to wait and figure it out like why is this in here like i don't understand like well, you're gonna take out bribery because that's just so unfun i don't get it Tushin Nooch. <laughs> That's the new version. Bro, you ever seen that Tushin Nooch? Three weeks later. That should definitely be on the soundboard, I think. Three weeks later. Three weeks. There it is. Nice. Three weeks later. What'd you hit? Oh, Yogmoss? Well, that'll probably do it. That was literally a pretty terrible mind's desire, to be quite honest. Actually, did they just whiff? All you have is Ponder and Yawgmoth's will, but you only have Mind's... I guess you have Mind's Desire in here. Yawgmoth's will for Mind's Desire. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sure. I guess that's I guess that's good. I don't know. Who knows? 
All right. Waiting six minutes. Now we can no longer win with Zerta, but they are at exactly nine for our triplicate Titan. So, you know, on the off chance they, they don't get to do anything. I would have probably, uh, no, I guess they want the card in the graveyard. I was going to say I would have probably uh, Toxic Deluge first to keep the Thieving Skydiver alive, but it doesn't really do much. And if you want to Underworld Breach, you can... Brain Freeze would be sick. Yeah, like, and that's the thing. I can't just concede because I don't know what their win condition is. Is it is it Tendrils? Is it Brain Freeze? If it's Brain Freeze, I can probably just still win because they're just going to hit Emrakul. I don't know. <laughs> like, really frustrating. Yep, there's my desire for 17. <laughs> Everybody's having a good time except for me. Lotus Petal. Cabal Ritual. There's the Tendrils. Phenomenal. Cool. <sighs> I'm just going to sit here and let it happen because you've taken six minutes of your time. Maybe you'll take another six minutes if I win the next round, so... Yep, good times. Yep. Cool. <laughs> Great. Oh boy, this draft has been going well. We have like multiple two card combos in our deck. We have yet to assemble a single one. We have not drawn Sneak Attacker through the Breach in any situation we'd be able to cast it. We have not drawn Zerda and Basalt Monolith together. I don't actually understand what's going on. I think we're going to take out Fiery Confluence. We didn't see a, a ton of artifacts from them. And I think I'd rather have Mind Slaver. And that way I can just waste the cards in their hand if we suddenly get a, an explosive start. you have angered the druids by giving up on oath maybe how many drills i don't even know what that means oh <laughs> it's it was i think it was over 10 If this hand is good, if we can hit one of those cards that we we keep talking about that aren't in our deck, as far as I can tell. So we have 23 minutes, they have 14. They've taken 10 minutes longer than we have. That's a lot, man. Hmm. Hey, wow, we did it. Now all we need is one more land. <laughs> what do you think the odds are of that? I can I can get a Dryad Arbor if there was one in my deck. Okay. One land. And we got the fattest of daddies coming in. Can I donate for a dragon stip? I don't know if there's enough dragons in the queue, but I mean I wouldn't mind, but I don't want to I don't want to I don't want to leave you unsatisfied either, you know.
Well, they're a big fan. Maybe less so now. Um, is it even worth it to do it here? I feel like it might just be walking Ballista for two and then do it next turn when they have more permanents. This probably holds them back quite a bit though, right? I also love some dragons. Kill them. I'm trying, but I don't know if it's going to work the way we want it to work, you know? Is Ulamog just better here? No, we want we want Amy. Well, they're at four, and we have a walking ballista, so you know, that's not bad. I mean, if this guy gets in next turn and then we can shoot them for two, that's pretty good. Got it. All right, we're vintage Cuban, folks. <laughs> oh, boy. Boy, oh, boy. I'll keep it because Talisman. But we definitely could have more aggressively mulliganed here, I think. Okay, we have a guy that goes well with... You know, some of the other things in our deck. Oh yeah, Sol Ring would be bananas. Atali. Mana Crypt next turn. Let's Mana Crypt, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Mana Crypt would be good. Rona for... Th okay. That's just a land. So that's actually not as good as any of the other things I said. Because we just don't get to do anything. Oh boy. I feel like this is just way too slow for our deck. Unless we top deck like through the breach, that would be cool. I might hit, I might, might do a tolly if we hit like through the breach. I think the potential of two random cards is might be higher than the three three threes, because like even if we attack for nine and they take it, they go to eleven. Even if we attack for the other three threes, like they still don't die. That's fascinating. Do they have a counter spell? Probably a hundred percent, right? One, two, three, four, five, seven. seven mana. I feel like we just gargled on here, and we play crypt to play around. Oh, if they counter crypt though. They didn't do that. Like, if they want to counter something, like, this is the, the thing I care about the least, I think. I 
Yeah, that's why we play Mana Crypt. To play around the miscalcs. Or days. Like anything, really. Oh, he just lives. Okay. Are we dead? Who knows? Anything can happen here on Magic Storm City time. They just murderous rider. And they still kept their two blue up. Just in case. So we definitely have to assume they have counterspell. Tails never fails. It did not fail. One, two, three, four, five, six. They're going to counter this for sure. And then we're free to play Atali next turn, presumably. We haven't seen any other counter spells in their deck. <laughs> I mean, it's possible. We could also get lucky and hit our own Emrakul. You know, there's things. We got things. This is during your upkeep? Sure. What do you get? I'm going to get a time spiral. High tide. So that I can time spiral. Yeah. Hey, look at that. My dream is not playing against Storm players because it's miserable and it's a terrible viewing experience and it's a terrible playing experience. It is a zero-sum fun game. Because it's just... Yeah, I don't know. Wake me up when the storming ends. Yep, this is still match two. This is why I don't have Storm in my cube in this in this iteration. Because it's just not fun to watch people dirtle for 20 minutes. Which is literally what's going to happen because we have 13 more minutes on the clock than they do. So they've literally just spent 13 minutes doing this while we get to watch. Like, it's, it's, not, a not, it's not an insignificant amount of time, man. That's such a ridiculous amount of time.
Yeah, I'm gonna go get my tendrils of agony, and this is gonna be Agnes, and I'm just gonna play my tendrils of agony off the top of my deck because I want to draw with my Brona. <sighs> I mean, you can put pieces together in a non-storm deck. Like, Magic is literally drawing a bunch of cards and playing them. So, I mean, you can do that. Why don't you just goldfish it with yourself so that no one else has to suffer? Like, it's, I, don't, I just don't get it. Like, it's such a one-sided experience, and it feels so fucking selfish to play against. Like, it's so weird. Like, I'm not doing anything. <laughs> I'm not interacting with you in any in any meaningful way, and I haven't been for 20 minutes. Wait, did they mess up? Like, and this this is the thing. This is why you, like, not only it's, it may be a good thing if they messed up here. No, they didn't think it's on tap. It may be a good thing if they mess up while they're storming. But it also means you can't leave. I literally just can't concede because they could whiff. They could not go off. They could mess up. So you have to actually wait there for the 10 minutes to make sure they don't mess up. Or maybe they have a brain freeze and then you get to shuffle your library. But like, either way, like you, you're forced to sit there. Because of the potential you might win. <sighs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We also only have nine mana now. So I guess we can get a Tali with Invasion of Ikoria. You know, in the future when we get a turn. I mean, I'm sure they drew Mind's Desire Tendrils with their with their time spiral. I, 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 they also have Rona out that they haven't activated yet. I'm sure they'll, I'm sure they'll be fine. <sighs> yeah. We know he has tendrils. They played it last game. That's how we lost. I mean, I'll be honest. This seemed like a really good sneak attack deck, but then we just never drew our pieces in conjunction with each other. So what are you going to do? Is this just a dig? <laughs> there it is. There it is. There it is. I am dead inside. Cool. So long, 16 minutes of my life. I'll never get back. Oh, God. Please ban Storm. Just remove it from the cube. Like, I get it. People want to play fucking Storm. Let them goldfish it. Like, good games. <laughs> yeah, man. Great games. Just fantastic. I think I cast two spells, and then I watched you play for 20 minutes. I don't know. I hope you really enjoyed watching me play Magic. Did you? Did you enjoy it? I hope you did. Well, that's been fun. Wake me up when the storming ends. I mean, this is weird because we have Mana Crypt, Draga Tree Speaker, Mana Vault, not Mana Vault, Soul Ring, and like two talis like two talismans, like, but we're not getting anything here. I'm keeping this because we have two cards that work really well with this. We have a sneak attack and a show and tell. Uh <laughs> through the breach. You know what I'm saying. I'm just frazzled because I just spent 
20 minutes watching someone else play magic in the vintage cube. And it's such a worse stream experience as well. Like if I'm not streaming, I can literally just leave the room. I can go get a sandwich. <laughs> I can refill my drink or use the restroom while they're doing their shit. But like I'm streaming. So like I can't leave and I just have to sit here and watch it. It's just, it's just not fun. Wow, this has just been such a pleasure. I, I'm such a lucky boy. I can't wait to go home. What? What the fuck? Discards Underground Sea, Thought Seas. Mystical Tutor. What? Tendrils? Oh, good. They discarded Tendrils. We're just playing against... Just kill me now. I guess we're going to Ballista here. Here we go again. Do you want to watch Frank get frustrated as his opponent always has the storm components? Like, I can't get two cards in my deck, which is like through the breach and a creature or thoughts or uh, sneak attack and a creature. But my opponent always manages to string together the six cards they need to go off in storm, like high tide, time spiral, Arona, another thing. A bur like, they always have four or five cards that they need. But I'm just like, I just need two, man. Just need two. Yo, can a brother get two storm cards? I'm actually quite tempted to just kill this this Burgie right now. Big all. And next turn we can play Atali, presuming we're not dead. If you don't want to die to storm, just kill the Burgie on the spot. What could possibly go wrong? Who's having a good time? Tell me. Tell me if it's you. Oh good, we have an Urborg out now. Well, that that is a thing, isn't it?
<laughs> well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I guess we can play triplicate Titan. Then again, that just lets them get another turn, though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have thirteen. This is six. We can activate twice, can't we? So it's three, four, five. That's eleven. Puts them to two. Okay, I think they're just dead now. I think we just kill them now. That's pretty cool. Uh, I guess we could also kill them with that. And that makes me feel better about not having drawn in all these turns. I guess we can do both, right? This is more elegant, though. Six and five here. I don't care. One, two, three, four. Do both of them. <laughs> Smart. Yep. All right, cool. Well, I guess we can, I guess we can win a game against a storm deck. Hmm. I'm here for a good time, not a long time, you know? Also, the benefit of not having Storm in the cube is you literally just get, like, 20 free extra cards to put in. Like, 20 cool cards that you can put in. Like, that's what my cube has. Like, I took out Storm, so now I don't have High Tide. I don't have... I don't think I... I might have Time Spiral still, just because I think it's good in general. I think Time Spiral is a cool card to have if you're not, like... I think we're going to get rid of Zerta here. If you're not able to, like, combo your opponent out and win. I mean, this is probably the best hand we can ask for in game three. Uh, round three, game two, when we're up a game, I guess. One, two, three, four. We can literally through the breach next turn. Yeah, maybe we do that. Let's hit Emrakul here, right? We didn't. We didn't hit it. So we're going to take one off this if we want to add a red. But we get to take two off this and then not have to do it again. So I think we just do that and play a Tali here. Or we can just do it next turn. We can just Garrick here and cast Atali next turn while also keeping through the Breach in hand. One, two, three, four, five. See, my problem with this is it doesn't leave us with anything on board. So if we don't draw anything good, if we hit like Mana Crypt. Whereas I don't think... You know what? I'm here for a good time, not a long time. Next turn we can just Garrick. If it's an Eldrazi, we're just gonna be. Yep, that was my that was my concern. <laughs> Jesus. Yep, cool. Oh, I didn't cast theirs. Did I could I get anything? I don't even know if I can get anything off theirs. Yep, that was my That's why I didn't want to do that. I mean, in fairness, there were two lands on the top of our deck, so I guess we got rid of those, but... That's a bummer. I guess we could have gotten... We could have put I-Court now. That's not even a... No, that's not even a, an instant. Oh, wow. Well, now I'm kind of glad I did it. Hmm. This is fascinating. One, two, three, four, five, six mana.
very tempted to just deal three and kill this guy, to be honest. It's like we can play Garrick and then deal three to... It puts them very far behind. And then we get to keep a Garrick. One, two, three, four. Our guy's going to die anyway, so if they block, we just get to deal two and two to their face. So that's even better. Deal three of each creature. Yeah, getting rid of a Baral seems fine. And also the free card we got off of Atali. So Atali was literally just deal seven damage, unfortunately. Oh, good old Burgie. One, two, three, four, five. So we have seven mana. Nine mana. So we can Ikoria for seven and go get Archon. That's really good. Let's do that. And hope they don't counter it, I guess. Hmm, daisy, bro. So I guess it looks like... Search my library, please. I guess we're going... Wait, where's the Archon? Why can't we get it? What? Oh, is it a human? What? Search library for integrator for a non-human creature with mana value X or less. Oh, it costs eight. Wow, that's smart. So now we can get Atali or Inferno Titan. For some reason, it cost, I thought it cost seven. I thought it was a 7-7 seven, seven for 7. It's a 6-6 six, six for 8. Okay. Whatever. I think we're still in good shape. I think we could just Inferno Titan the Burgie. I mean, I don't have an 8th, so I couldn't really do it. Um, we have so many shit hits, though. Atali? Okay, you guys want me to do Atali. We're going to do Atali. Dude, the suspense while Natalie's on the stack. A Basalt Monolith and a Burst Lightning. <laughs> Do I have to pay the four? Okay. Well, that's a bum bum. And a Basalt Monolith, huh? We're just going at your face here. And... Well, if we survive one more turn, Atali has let us down twice. It could have been an Emrakul. It also, the the thought that it could have been an Archon was what got me. I was like, well, I could just hit the Archon off this guy. We do have infinite mana next turn if we draw something that that matters for. Playing a tapped land. Lion's Eye Diamond again. Okay. You got it. You got Echo of Eons in the graveyard in a little trash can. You can put one in there. I think that's gone for good, right? No, that was in the first game where they like literally turn one Echo of Eons. Okay, we get to watch again. You guys ready for a little spectator mode? I feel like Inferno Titan just killing this would have been better because then like Inferno Titan is just lethal. I mean, that's what we, that's what wins the game, right? But we weren't trying to win the game. We were trying to do cool shit. Okay, we're wheeling. 
wheeling and dealing. I guess we don't get Zerta with our Basalt Monolith anymore. I mean, we can only hope that their win condition is, is Brain Freeze, right? Because that'd be cool. Well, I think they're dead here. If they... If they don't kill us, they're dead. So that's... <laughs> That's it. That's something right there, I guess. Oh, boy. How much time in this draft has been wasted just watching Magic instead of playing Magic? Nobody knows. And I think we also only did this because we're up a game, so... And it's not like this is a niche archetype, man. Storm is one of the main archetypes in the cube. Like, you can take Lion's Eye Diamond out. You can take Yawgmoth's Bargain, Tendrils, Pyretic Ritual. Like, Baral is not great without Storm. Turnabout. Like, Mana Flare. Like, there's so many cards that you can cut from the cube. <laughs> And add cooler different cards in if you don't have um, Storm. And again, I'm never, I'm like, I'm just not going to concede against Storm. Like, the time is often relevant. Not often, but occasionally relevant. And, like, I want to make sure you don't mess up. Like, Like, they could have gone all in on Brain Freeze here and just not... I mean, they could, they're going to crack Lion's Eye Diamond, obviously, and play Tendrils, but... You know. The light has gone out from his eyes. <laughs> like Splinter Twin, I'm not going to, I'm going to concede, you know, because it's easy and you're not taking all the time. You're not monopolizing the game. But like, if you're, if you're going to take all the time in the game to do this, then you got to do it. No, I disagree completely with bribery and channel. Like, that's my that's my biggest argument. If I channel you on turn two to play an Emrakul, you can concede. You've lost the game unless you have an answer to that Emrakul. But the game ends. I don't have to sit there and watch you for 20 minutes play Magic. The, the fact is, like, I'm not talking about removing broken interactions from the cube. I'm talking about removing si time sinks that, that monopolize one player having all of the fun and another player has a no fun and they just watch the game. Like, I have to sit here for 20 minutes and wait for you to storm out. Channel ends the game immediately. Bribery? If I, if you bribery me and go get an Emrakul, all right, I can't do anything. I guess we'll just go on to the next game. The game ends, and then we get to play another game. I get to play Magic still. Like, it's a very different situation. Those are not the same at all. I'm not talking about, like, remove the powerful cards. I'm talking about, like, remove the cards that make me watch you play the game. Storm is literally, like, sit there for 10 minutes, see if you can go off. If not, try to go off again. See if you can go off now. Do you have it? Nobody knows until you find it. 
Like it's just literally sitting there and watching for 10 minutes each game. It's very frustrating. Yeah, we'll keep this. Um, pitch Archie. Uh, I think Mind Slaver is fine. <laughs> it's six mana card. It costs four mana to activate. If you have 10 mana for Mind Slaver, knock yourself out. If you're looping Mind Slaver, again, it's an infinite combo that I can't do anything against, so I can concede immediately. If you Mind Slaver me once on turn when you have 10 mana, knock yourself out. You've earned it. Like, none of these cards... These cards are good. They're not unfair. They're not broken. Like... Bribery costs five mana, it's one card. Like, channel, you literally have to have two cards. Sometimes channel doesn't even work, and I've got channel 14th pick. Like, it's not the end-all be-all, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I was hoping for uh, an untapped land, but, you know. Like, even Splinter Twin, I'm like, Splinter Twin's fine. If you can show me that you have it, and I don't have a response, the game ends, and then we can go on to the next game. It's not the power level of the cards in Storm. I don't give a shit about the power level. Most of the cards are actually extremely weak. What I care about is the unfun play patterns that it produces, where I have to just watch you play Magic, which sucks. Especially for like a streamer, like I'm sitting here like watching you play and not doing anything that <laughs> people are watching it happen. Like, and so it's, it's, it's a time wasting aspect, right? Like none of those cards waste my time for 20 minutes. Like if you want to channel a Karn on turn one, awesome. I'm probably going to concede to that, but I know that, but I'm able to take a game actions and respond to it. You know what I mean? Like, I still get my turn if you play a Karn. I get to go to my turn. I get to play a land. I get to see if I can interact with this Karn rather than just knowing I can't do anything. I'm just sitting here watching you. And right, you can't you can't concede because they might not have it. Maybe they whiff. Like, my last round opponent literally said, oh, I messed up. <laughs> and I'm like, let's see if it matters. One, two, three, four, five, six. Put a counter on this. Let's make an 8-8. No, I don't feel the same way playing against Trunk Control because they're different situations. They're completely different. If I play a card and you counter it, we've interacted. We've done something. And then you go to your turn and you do a thing. And then I go back to my turn and I play a card. Maybe you counter it, maybe you don't. And then I go to my turn again. And like, like I'm interacting. They don't always have it when you play Control. I don't have to sit here and watch you. Like, this feels like a very clear situation that I'm describing. And, like, all of these counterpoints are just not similar, you know? Can we just kill them here? How many forests do we have? Two? Three? One more? All my guys get plus two, plus two, and trample. So this is the story of a girl. This is eight, nine... 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. I think they just have to block here, right? So we can just go one, two, three, four. Pump this fine gentleman. I think they go to one here if they block with Leovold. Okay, I guess we won. Do we do we do math wrong? I think we actually won there. Um, so this is a five, 15, this is 18. 
19. Yeah, we didn't. They could have gone to one if they block. But I guess they didn't want to block. Anyway. It, like, that's the thing. Even though I won against Storm, I didn't have fun. It wasn't fun. And I think that's what you want to prioritize in the experience. You want to prioritize fun. So let this be a lesson to you. I apologize for the YouTube viewers who thought who thought I, I excessively ranted about Storm. But this video is 20 minutes longer. Close to 25 in total, I think. For nothing. Just to watch Storm happen. So thank you guys for watching, though. I appreciate you. I'll see you next time.